Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When it comes time to allow access to the report data generated by Crystal Reports, you have a few options for exporting the results. In this lesson, we will examine the options that we have for exporting report results to the users that need to view that data. When it comes time to export the report results, you can first open the report which you wish to export, and then choose either File, Export, and then Export Report, or if you're using Crystal Reports 10, you can just simply choose File and Export. Either way, this will launch the Export dialog box, which is used to export the selected report to a chosen destination in the format you prefer. Use the Format drop-down to select the desired format to which you would like to export the selected report. Then use the Destination drop-down to select one of the possible report destinations to which you could export the report. When you've made the desired selections from the drop-down, click OK to begin the exporting process. Note that if you wish to export to one of the email systems listed, you will log into the selected system and send the email to the designated recipients after clicking OK. If using the Lotus Domino system, ensure that you read the help file in Crystal Reports about exporting to this destination, as it requires additional setup. If you select the Application option, Crystal will export the report to the application used to open the type of file format that you selected. For example, if you selected Microsoft Word from the Format drop-down and then chose Application for the destination, Crystal Reports would open Microsoft Word and export the report as a new file into that application when you click OK. If you choose Disk File from the Destination drop-down, then you can select the folder on your network to which you want to export the report. If you have Microsoft Exchange Server available and wish to save the report to a selected Exchange folder, you can select that option to save it into a public or private folder, which is then accessible through Microsoft Outlook. The types of formats which are available for export will vary depending on the DLL files installed on your system. Depending on which format and destination you select, you may then have to make additional choices in the ensuing dialog boxes which appear once you click OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.